Good evening and welcome to beautiful Phil Waybright Gymnasium here in Argus, Indiana. Starting off with the 2019-2020 season for the Lady Dragons. I've got Andy Stone here with big boy Phil Dean and crazy Peyton on the camera. Coming here from your RTC Argus TV TV4, right? What is it? I can't remember. Argus TV at Argus RTC TV, TV4. yes. Argus TV at RTC TV4. Well, we had some great uh, great things going on this past weekend and the boys soccer team wins the state title class 1A state title for the Dragons bringing it home. But you know what? As the seasons change and the leaves fall, we get into a new season of sports, and here we are with basketball starting. And I tell you what, I cannot be more excited. This is going to be a great season for the Lady Dragons. This is the first game, and it's nice to have a home opener here against the Lady Comets of Caston. And Coach Dewar, I spoke with him earlier, good friend of mine. He's talking about how excited he is. The girls are working hard, really putting in the effort, and uh, he can't wait to see what this season brings for himself. So the Lady Dragons coming in. This will be Coach Dewar's second season at the helm. And uh, they had great results last year, so it showed lots of improvement. Coach Stone for the Lady Dragons soccer program has the girls in pretty good shape, so they just transition right in. And most of the players, as in Argus with small schools, are doing double duty, sometimes triple duty with softball and or cheerleading so there's a lot going on with the small community and these girls are tough and we can't wait to see them play a little bit of b-ball here <laughs> getting getting things started you know the nice thing is is that uh, uh, inside the Phil Waybright gymnasium it is always a nice comfortable 72 degrees <laughs> we don't have to worry about the uh, rain snow sleet all that stuff that we saw within what the last two weeks <laughs> yeah we are live right now. It just come on. So uh, we got some people coming up, and we want to give a quick shout-out to Dusty, who couldn't find it. We're on now, so we're good to go. But and uh, we yeah. are – both schools are a RTC TV for school. Yes, they're so. both members. So it's, uh, it's nice for everyone to get coverage uh, for both schools and school districts. RTC family of schools, as I, we like to call it. Uh, showing great support, allowing us to do this for us and casting at the time. So, uh, you know, it's it's been an amazing run, and we're just keeping it growing and doing really good things. We want to give a shout-out to Macy Stricker. She's our tech guru back home tonight running the program. Multiple schools uh, and games she's in uh, charge of. And I uh, I think she does a better job than Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Steve might be watching. <laughs> I'm giving a shout-out to Macy. She's tough. <laughs> She's telling them how it's done. So, I, say, I, th I think she's got four schools going on tonight. Four, four games? Four schools going on tonight. Yep. yep. So there you go. That's nice to see. Now, just to give, since this is the first game of the season, just to uh, <laughs> uh, want to give everybody a heads up on what's going on. Um, as the season progresses and as the boys get started, RTC TV uh, will be broadcasting one girls game and one boys game per week. That is the schedule, unless there's a real big game. Obviously, we're going to be doing the big tournaments like the Bi County and sectionals Correct. and so on and so forth. We got the Culver Bell game for the boys, Culver Bell game for the girls. Both champions of that game last year. Girls are actually undefeated since the Bell game was and come to be uh, come to pass. So uh, yeah, those are big games. We'll make sure we have those coverages. But yeah, we're going to shoot for one game a week. We're going to pick the best game uh, uh, from each uh, week. Like there is two games this week. Uh, we wanted to do the season and home opener. It's always a big show, yeah, especially when we have two teams uh, that are both affiliated with the program yeah. with, with our TC four. Yeah. Opener. Oh yeah, you got to do it. Especially coming off of uh, uh, the high school, the, you know, the the excitement from the high school last weekend. Well, you know, it, it, we were just talking about it. The I was talking to some of the players from the Argus boys soccer team that won Class One A state, and and some of the kids just in general. And uh, they are still talking about it. It's very exciting, but they were emotionally drained. I mean, it was taxing. Uh, you know, we talked about it. Steve even said it. We like, and uh, a couple of these games that we've been doing, and, and just like that tournament run, it's like, man, I think I aged at least ten years on that whole run right there because <laughs> it was just so exciting and nerve-wracking and just a great thrill for uh, Argus Community Schools 
and the community itself it's just been uh, fantastic but well even even like uh you know amy and i you know we were covering most of those games for the the sectionals you know yep. sectional time we what was it i think we were there for what seven games seven nine games, games seven, something nine. like that yep um and then turn around and do three games for regionals it was a good then, time and then go, it was a good time <laughs> It was a long week. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Lady Dragons come back out, and uh, oh, and, and in walks uh, Josh Obermeyer, Caston uh, Argus alum. His wife teaches here. His mom teaches here. His sister taught here. He taught here, and now he's a Caston AD and dean of students, giving him them good product from Argus. He's been a fantastic. Uh, Fantastic hire for them, and uh, he's doing a great job down there at Caston. So you, you got to give him some love there, Josh. But, uh, yeah, the Lady Dragons come out. Here comes Dewar. Gets over here in the side. And uh, assistant night coach Nye Fong, assistant coach Vanderwill, and uh, you got Zeke you know, helping out. So uh, the Dragons got a big squad. Got good numbers. Four seniors. So the Dragons are going to start off with four seniors on the season. Hopefully we can keep everybody healthy. But these girls have been playing for a long time, a lot of AAU hours put in, and we expect real good things out of this uh, this group. And uh, I tell you what, a couple of them day, uh, days out there in the weather and this and that, I, I was looking forward to calling a game in the warm weather. <laughs> so. And we're going to do the national anthem, and then we'll be back with the lineups. And we're back live here from Phil Waybright Gymnasium. National Anthem's done, and the Lady Dragons, we're getting ready for the cast and lineup. Number three, Aubrey Day. Number 14, Kinsey Malavkoff. Number 15, Lane Oliver. Number 21, Sophie Justin. And number 35, Jordan Cleninger, wait, Cleninger? How do you pronounce that? Oh, Cleninger. All right. And here for the Lady Dragons, number 14, senior Emily Lafree. Senior number 20, Cagney Hoffman. A senior number 34, Morgan Dunlap. Sophomore number 40, Lizzie Edmond. And the Macy's, the senior, number 42, Macy Sh Stricker. <laughs> Macy Morris. Uh, I said Macy Stricker a few times tonight. No, no, no. she's not She's not out on the court. She, well, I don't know if she's, you know, wherever she's at, if she's not on the court. Well, She's yep. working the computer tonight. Oh, uh, boy. That's all right. I'm allowed a few boo-boos. <laughs> I didn't misspell it. <laughs> As always, we apologize for any butchering of last names, first names, or any names in general. I always have one or so. so there was a few games uh, the soccer teams were some oh, interesting. Some <laughs> of those were bad. Yeah, some interesting ones. So, all right, you got Edmonds with the tip against Jordan. Klingler. Klingler. 
Klingler. Klingler it is. So you got five foot eight versus six foot. And it's tipped, and the Dragons get it. LaFree with a quick three, and it's off the mark. Rebound goes to Caston. Hoffman looks big. Number three for Aubrey is listed at five foot. So she is not very tall, but she seems very fast. We got the first foul on the Dragons. No, and she walked out uh, for halftime for the uh, JV game. Yeah. Um, and I think it was number 35 was walking out in front of her. And almost that was looking like a David and Goliath scenario yep. right there. <laughs> so LaFree gets the first foul of the season and of the game. Hoffman not wasting any time. Gets the ball over to Morris. Morris wearing a little knee brace on her left leg. Hoffman for a quick three. And the Dragons go up. Hoffman with three. Full court pressure out of the Dragons. And it's tied up. Hoffman ties it up. Great work from Hoffman. And it's going to be still Caston's ball. But that changes the possession arrow once it's inbounds. And I was actually hoping that we'd see Hoffman come out with that fireball scenario <laughs> that she was doing last year yep. when, she's, when the season first started. Oh, and they break a great break, bre bre press break and put it in for two. Nice work out of the Lady Comets. Dunlap comes down, gives it back over to Hoffman. Dunlap. Edmonds fakes, turns, spins, gives it over to LaFree. And the ball is rotated. Dragons being patient. Morris looks, takes a step, gets it back over to Dunlap. LaFree, little baseline jumper, and it's off the mark. And uh, Aubrey, five-foot powerhouse, gets the rebound, takes it down, takes a shot, and misses. LaFree with the rebound. Looks, scans the court, comes it over to Hoffman. Hoffman. Morris fakes. Good ball fake. Shot just missed. Dunlap works and can't get it. Or Edmonds, sorry, and it's off her feet. It's going to be cast and ball. So I'll tell you one thing. We're about a minute and a half in, and the Dragons have shot four times already. That's pretty good. They haven't, they've been time where they've been really reserved on the number of shots they take, and they're not worried about it. Broke up, rebound, LaFree kicks it over. Hoffman takes off, and the Dragons are playing a run and a gun style. And it's tipped away. Bad pass by Hoffman. Kasten is wanting to slow it down. I don't think they want to run with the Dragons. Here's a quick three. Misses. Rebound. Goes to Morris. Over to Dunlap. Dunlap's got a line. Takes it down. Goes around. One. Turns. Spins. Gives it out to Morris. Hoffman. Edmonds gets it. Oh, Morris should have posted. <laughs> Hoffman for two, and it's off the mark. Dunlap's going to jump, give it over. Edmonds for two, and it's in. Assist by Dunlap. Bucket by Edmonds. Edmonds stole it. Yep. Shot missed. And it's going to be Argus's basketball off of Caston. You betcha. Good call by the official. Dragons up 5-2. Dunlap. Hoffman spins, looks, and it's in again for another three from Hoffman. Two from over there. They're going to start catching full court pressure, and there's a quick timeout by Caston's coach, and the Dragons go in the end of first timeout of the first quarter, leading 8-2. We'll be back right after this. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. And we're back. We yeah, are. We are back. Here we go. Dragons up 8-2. to 5-14 left in the first. Caston now. Aubrey gets it in, puts it down, and it's thrown out of bounds, and it's going to be Dragons basketball. I don't want to say that was probably a waste of a timeout for a play, but 
Well, you know, I, I think it was more just to settle them down that uh, Argus was getting a rally and they wanted to break up the momentum. So Morris fakes, looks, catches it, gets it back over to Dunlap. Hoffman, LaFree, loses the ball. Dunlap, foul, no call. Kasten's going to have the throw in there, playing, running X. Pay attention. The 1 4 down looks and it spins off. Looks to get it and they get it in for two. And gets the fall. Good bucket. Number 14, 14. for Melonkoff. Morris for three and it misses. Rule free with the rebound. Takes it, looks, battles, and Gets taken it away. Well, it does look like that the, yep. uh, uh, they do have Hoffman uh, matched up. Yes, <laughs> they do. <laughs> Pretty good there. Do last year we seen her on, on some players that were twice her size. And yeah. Well, Dewar's looking at the bench. And, yep, there goes Vanderwill in. LaFree's out, taking a quick break. I didn't catch the subs for Kasten. I'm sure you did, Phil, right? Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. You got to be ready for that. Hoffman has it, looks, gives it to Dunlap. Dunlap throws it to Vanderwill. Vanderwill recovers a bad pass. Gets a breaker in the back, and Morris, shot, misses, rebound, goes Vanderwill over the back, and it's going to be foul for Kasten. First foul of the game for the Lady Comets. That was on Sophie Jelson. Yeah. Shot, and Edmonds gets the good bucket off the rebound. Edmonds with four. Looks, gets it in, baseball pass. Here comes the break, throws it over, good, miss. Rebound goes to Vanderwill. Vanderwill settles it down and takes it down. Here she goes, across the timeline. Looks, Morris, kicks it out, Edmonds fakes. Dunlap for three. Off, rebound by Morris and misses again. Morris, loose, Edmonds powers it, takes it up, and one. Edmonds with the rebound and takes it away, and she's going to the free throw line. That follows on number 20, Maddie Smith. Morris coming out, LaFree's back in. Edmonds taking a free throw, first one of the season. Morris just got to relax. It's the first game of the year. and Missed a bunny there, too. And Edmonds leading all scores with seven. A sophomore, six-footer, making her presence to be known in this game. Vanda was out. Foul, Edmonds knew it, she <laughs> she tried. <laughs> First foul on Edmonds, second of the game for the Lady Dragons. Looks, gets it in. Dunlap can't cover, and Hoffman's all over. They look to trap, they get it around. Gets in the middle, Vanderwill blocked, and then LaFree's going to come up with it. Gets it over to Hoffman. Hoffman, caddy corner to Dunlap. Back over to Vanderwill. Hoffman's relaxed, gets it in to Edmonds. Edmonds still gets it in through traffic and puts two more in. Edmonds with nine. Vanderwill's out on her. Drives to the base, traps, good outlet, blocked by Edmonds. And here comes Hoffman. It's off her foot, picks it up. And here comes Vanderwill now, across the timeline. Sees Morgan Dunlap, fakes, little jumper. And in and out, rebound, Edmonds, and two more for Edmonds. And Edmonds is owning the paint. Two offensive boards 
total of five points off those. Shots up, and it's good for three. Number 14 again. Nice bucket. Ala Melonkoffer. Melonkoffer. Melonkoff. Oh, wait. Melonkoff. Sorry. So sorry, people. And there's a quick timeout. And a minute 26 left in the first. Dragons up by 10, 17 to 7. We'll be back after this. Argus Hardware is your local do it best hardware store offering everything you need for your home improvement, lawn and garden, housewares, and home decor. Argus Hardware prides itself on a knowledgeable and friendly staff. Stop by today to stock up on all of your winter preparation needs, like shovels or ice melt. Argus Hardware is located at 200 West Walnut Street in Argus. Argus Hardware, your local do-it-best hardware store. We're back, about a minute and a half left in the first quarter. Dragons up 17 to seven. Nine points so far for Edmonds. Got three total rebounds and one block shot. She's doing a little bit of everything at the moment. Using her height to her advantage. Her dad and his twin brother, Uncle Kip and Kim Edmonds, very tall and uh, Lizzie's been blessed with that height, so the Dragons are using her quite well down low. She gets it there, gives it to LaFree. It's tipped away, but recovered by Hoffman. Vanderwill fakes, gives it over to Edmonds, out on the three. Perimeter fakes, gives it to Edmonds in the middle. A little jumper, and it's just off. Over the back by Edmonds, and that's her second foul. And in comes Morris. Edmonds got to take a break. That's a smart, smart call. You don't need three fouls in the first quarter, let alone in the first half. Hoffman's on her, and it's stolen by Dunlap. Gives it over to oh. <laughs> She wanted to throw it long. I thought she was right. Hoffman for running. three in the corner, <laughs> and it's just off the mark. Here comes Caston with the long coast to coast. Pulls it up and it's stolen by Hoffman. Picks her pocket. She's going against two. Shots up and uh, no Traveled. good. She travels. <laughs> Sophie Bohlenbacher giving Hoffman a quick little break. So you got Bohlenbacher in taking a few minutes here, or at least a minute here at the end, giving uh, Hoffman an extra minute of breathing. You got Edmonds on the bench. Shots up, and it's no good. Rebound goes to Morris. Morris looks, relaxes. 28 seconds. They're just going to work it for the last second shot. Fakes. Dunlap. Fanderwill. Morris. LaFree. Jump ball. LaFree needs to keep that out. She kicked that immediately out. You can't put it down where everyone can grab it. And that's Dragon's ball. Hoffman's coming in. LaFree's out. Hoffman's going to be inbounding it. Bowenbacher puts it up, and it's in. Two points for Sophie Bowenbacher. Hey, if you're not going to cover me, she's going to shoot it. Coming in with that tenacity, and there it is. Dragons go in the end of the first, 19-7. to We'll be back right after this. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a Simply Free checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank.
Enjoy full screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24-7 for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. All right, we're back to getting ready for the second period action here. Dragons are leading 19 to seven. Uh, Edmonds leading all scores. Hoffman with six. And uh, Mollenkopf with five for the Lady Comets. Daig has it. It's off of Baumbacher. Good tip out. So uh, LaFree's going to be taking a break for a minute. And definitely Edmonds. She has two fouls in the first quarter. Shots up, and it's good play ran by the Lady Comets. And that's number 35. Klinger, Klingler, Klingler, Klingler with uh, Bucket. Sorry, uh, pronunciation on that one. We're just going to call her Jordan. Vanderbilt for three, and it's off. Rebound goes to the Comets. Oh, he's putting Edmonds back in early in the second quarter. Telling her to be smart. Here's a quick three, and it's no good. Rebound. Comets stripped. Shots up. No good. Rebound goes to Vanderwill. Vanderwill's not wasting time. Goes up, and there's going to be a foul. Oh, call her <laughs> charge. <laughs> there's a foul on Vanderwill with the charge. Was it because she raised her knee? I, no, that's because she was trying to go around her. I don't know. Maybe the girl was set. Both of them were in agreement, though. They both said it was a charge, and Vanderwood gets called for the foul. Here comes the press. Shifted. Kicks it over. Gets it over. Vanderwood. Vanderwood, the second foul. So that's one thing that I'm, I'm glad to see that they're that they are still doing. We we talked about a little bit last year that we had never seen any defensive pressing going yeah. on at all. So we were shocked last year that they started doing it, and I'm glad to see that they're they're continuing on with it. Well, Coach Dewar is all about pressure on offense and defense, and relentless attacking type mindset. So we'll see that quite a bit this year. Foul, Hoffman. That's yeah. <laughs> her first on the evening. Six fouls on the Dragons, two fouls on the Comets. Bonebacher with good defense. Shots up, misses. Morris has got to get her body on those girls, not allow her to get that rebound. Hoffman coming across the timeline. Morris, Hoffman relaxes. Edmonds kicks it over to Bowenbacher. Another shoot. Misses. And a foul on Morris. And that will be Macy Morris's first on the evening. One on one for the Lady Comets. Dunlap's going back in. Bohlenbacher out, taking a quick break. <coughs> I tell you what, it's a madhouse on the fouls. Well, that's part of the things they're going to have to get their enthusiasm and attacking in check. 
And that way they don't get themselves in foul trouble early on in these games. Oh, there's a bad pass, and it's out of bounds. As I say, I, I know we've seen it worse. Oh, yeah. We've seen somewhere this time, and they're already into the double digits for the <laughs> fouls. Yeah. Hoffman gets it, looks over, kicks it to Morris. Dunlap fakes. Caddy corner to LaFree. Back over to Hoffman. Throws oh, it away. Bad pass. His travels, though. Definitely took off with running without the ball. I'd like to see Hoffman get another chance to take a shot. I don't want her to go cold. Started out on fire. Two of three from the three-point line. I want to see her take another shot. Dunlap comes over. Ha Miller or Morris goes back. Caddy corner. Edmonds misses. Stolen. Dunlap. Coast to coast. And misses. Rebound. Hoffman misses. Hoffman, second chance, shot, missed, and she's going to the line shooting too, and Coach Dewar looks like his head could explode. <laughs> you don't miss a layup and then two bunnies in a row. Oh, boy. I wonder what they'll be doing tomorrow at practice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's the first game. First game jitters. Hoffman misses the free throw. You know, they're, they're going to come into it. Definitely dominating the game at this particular moment, up by 10. Puts that one in. Sophie Jelson's coming in for the uh, Comets. There you go. I actually watched that one this time. Well, you pay attention to them Comets coming so we can help out their fans. I'm actually kind of impressing myself. I'm keeping up with you this year. Yep, Hoffman <laughs> with a free throw. Hoffman's got seven on the evening. Here's fake, looks. Monkoff misses. Hoffman goes, slows down, splits him. A nice little spin move. LaFree. Edmonds gets it. Here comes Morris for three. And it's good. Macy Morris. Oh, two. He says two. Morris with two. Dunlap throws it out. Tries, get it, puts it out. That's all right. They're putting the pressure on them, making yeah. them have to throw throw quick and, and not even looking where they're throwing. Fakes, gets it over, goes in, kicks it back over. Hoffman with the foul. It's her second on the evening. A one and one. Eight to three on the fouls. That's not that bad, I guess. So, uh, Jelson was on the line. Hoffman takes a break. Bollenbacher's back in. See how long uh, Edmund stays in with the foul. Jelson makes the first one. Nice free throw out of her. Dragons up 22-10. Four and a half left in First half. A little short. Gets the rebound. Dunlap, or another block out of Edmonds. Gets the ball out, let it to Dunlap. Morris fakes. Nice little move. It's blocked. Kicks it over. Lady Comets throws it, and it's off for fingertips out of bounds. Turnover by the Comets. The Lady Dragon's going to get the throw. We got Aubrey coming back in because I'm not going to pronounce the last name. <laughs> Aubrey, Aubrey, you rock. And then I missed Dague. the second Aubrey one. Aubrey Dague. Dunlap has it. Edmonds kicks it to Lafree. Lafree spins and throws it, gets fouled, and she's shooting two. And misses the first one. 
Dragons are one of three from the line so far this evening. Short on that one. And LaFree's going to get herself in some trouble. <laughs> she gave her a good shove down there. It's going to be off of Dunlap and Aubrey with a good hustle over their bat on. Miller, Edmonds out, Miller's in. Carly Miller, sophomore. Shots partially blocked by Dunlap. Here comes Morris. Bowenbacher. LaFree. No good. Bowenbacher works to get it. And good rebound fire from the Lady Comets, and here they come. Aubrey's talking to coach, getting to play. Tries to split them. Gets it out. Passes in and tipped out of bounds by Dunlap. So that's the play that the Comets are working on, throwing it in. To Klingler, Klingler, Klingler. It's one of the plays. She's strong and tall. Ball's loose. Jelson puts it up and just misses. Rebound goes to Morris. Dunlap has it. Bollenbacher. Morris rotates it. Comes around. Looks. Spins. Back over to Dunlap. Pick it up. In the corner to Morris. Rotations well. Timeout, Coach Dewar, 22-10, 2.45 left in the first half. We'll be back after this. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. And we're back. 2.41 left in the half. Dragons up 22 to 10. It's going to be inbounds with Dunlap. Looks, fakes, gives it out. Miller, LaFree, fakes. Morris, LaFree for three, and it's good. Her first points on the evening. That's a three-pointer. Here's one in response, short. Rebound goes to Caston. And stolen by Bowenbacher. Leads it forward to Miller, and... Here comes the Comets, a good steal. Rotates, here's a quick three, and it's no good, and Miller's gonna get the rebound for the Dragons. Tries to battle through it, and she gets the foul. Smart work for Carla Miller. Fouls on Oliver. In comes Smith for the Lady Comets. Dunlap comes across the timeline, gets it over to Morris. Morris fakes, back over to Dunlap. Miller in the corner. Dragons rotate it. Ooh, that's a nice little steal. And here comes the Comets. There's a steal by Dunlap. Watches. Fakes, shot, and it's blocking. She's shooting too. Smart play. Foul on Jelson. That's her third. Oof. Oh, they got it as two. Miss. Dragons have missed 
the first one on every round of free throw so far this season. <laughs> And misses both of them. <coughs> Baseball pass. Gets it into the low. Oh, shots up. It's going to be Argus's ball. Substitution. 14. That's going to be Malenkoff. Morris comes across the timeline. Baumbacher. Caddy corner to Dunlap. Miller. Dunlap. Morris for three in the corner. And it's good. Macy Morris for three. Stolen by Miller. Kicks it forward. Dunlap it squeezes through in the layup. And she puts it in for two. What a pass from Miller. How did, how did that get through there? Fakes, looks, kicks it out. Aubrey, good feed. Here's a quick open three, two. Sorry, two. It's missed. Rebound. LaFree reaches in. Rebound, loose. Sophie has it, and she's fouled at the corner. Bonebacher's going to shoot one and one. Dragons up by 20. Bonebacher, sophomore at the line, shooting one and one with 20 seconds left in the half. And that one's a little hard, but bounces out. LaFree with the rebound. Shots up, and it's going to be a jump ball. Dragons basketball. Morris taking it out. Different plays being called. You can tell by the person throwing it in. LaFree gets it. Dribbles. Shots up. Misses. Dunlap saves it. Nope, foot's on the line, 12 seconds left. <laughs> Jeez, oh, Pete. Bonebacher putting high pressure on it. Gets it down. Layup. Foul. LaFree, her third. Second, sorry. Misses. Smith at the line, getting ready to shoot her second. Smith, the sophomore from Caston, puts it in. Going down, Morgan for the quick shot. And that's going to do it for the half. Dragons go in at halftime, leading 30. 11 over the Lady Comets. We're going to take a few commercial break here and we'll be back with some halftime stats before the half kicks off. Hi, I'm John Oliver with a few reasons why your next pre-owned vehicle should be from Oliver Ford Lincoln. Imagine a 172-point certification along with a 44-point safety inspection. We even get you a vehicle history report. It's for your peace of mind because we treat our customers like family. You even get free car washes for life. So get more for your money and more for your trade with certified pre-owned at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. 
the RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide variety of services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial lending and business checking to help with your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. Oliver Ford is the largest certified pre-owned dealer in Michiana. Our inventory changes daily and you are guaranteed the best customer service in our area. We treat you like family. Every certified pre-owned Ford includes factory-backed warranty coverage, complimentary vehicle history report, and lots more. Don't miss out on our end-of-year discounts on all of our good-as-new inventory. Rates low as we have ever seen, and the best customer service you have ever experienced. RTC Cable subscribers, now you can watch your favorite cable networks wherever you are, on your phone, tablet, or computer. Just log on to www.watchtveverywhere.com. Enter your RTC account information and sign up to watch TV everywhere. Live sports, videos on demand, and more, all for free with your RTC Cable subscription. Watch TV everywhere, another great service from RTC. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. Simplify your banking with a simply free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with instant issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. shop at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth, you're treated like family and it's a full service experience. Our expert service team can keep your vehicle happy for years from simple maintenance to major repairs. We even provide a loaner car if your vehicle needs to stay overnight. So we have an excellent source of demonstrator vehicles offered to you with substantial discounts. So search our inventory online or stop in for a test drive at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. Got that new home addition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, yeah. business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Argus Hardware is your local do-it-best hardware store, offering everything you need for your home improvement, lawn and garden, housewares, and home decor. Argus Hardware prides itself on a knowledgeable and friendly staff. Stop by today to stock up on all of your winter preparation needs, like shovels or ice melt. Argus Hardware is located at 200 West Walnut Street in Argus. Argus Hardware, your local do-it-best hardware store. Simplify your banking with a simply free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a simply free checking account. 
When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Whatever phone fits your style, RTC Fiber Communications can save you money when you switch to VoIP. VoIP is a phone service that leverages the power of the internet to save you money on your monthly phone bill. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. And we're back, and you are watching Argus TV on RTC TV4. We have uh, two minutes left of the uh, before the yeah. before the start of the third quarter. This is uh, Phil Dean talking right now, and, <laughs> and I know that normally you don't hear my voice. Yeah. Um, but I got a little practice this year with uh, uh, do broadcasting volleyball, so we're a little not so nervous anymore. <laughs> ah, yeah. There's nothing to be nervous about. So here we go. We're gonna have a little bit of halftime stats. We got the uh, cast and lady comments with uh, Malenkop with five. Uh, you have Smith with one. Jelson with one. With one. And then Klinger with four. Four. Which gets us to our 11. All right. And for the Lady Dragons. You have Bohenbacher with two, LaFree with three, Dunlap with four, Morris with three, Hoffman with seven, and Lizzie Edmonds leading all scorers with 11. Lizzie is tied with the Lady Comets. So <laughs> she has two fouls, Vanderwill two fouls. Yeah, but Edmonds is just dominating underneath that basket. Yep. LaFree with two fouls. And Hoffman with two fouls. On the, on the Comet side, we have... Uh, you don't know. You got Oliver. free throws. <laughs> I got Oliver with two. There you go. I have Smith with two. I have Jelson with two. I'm going to assume it's Jelson, not Jellison. Jelson. And then I have Williamson with two for the eight that they had for the first half. All right, 15 seconds left. Teams are in, getting their last minute, her last second instructions. It should be Caston going east to west. No, west to east. Should be Lady Dragons basketball. Nope. You got it right. Yeah, but Lady Comets basketball. Yeah. You're such a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our sidekick, uh, Lane Zane, the main monster of the midway. He's Where'd not he here. I don't know. He hasn't been here. He must not be hungry. He left his pop and his nerds. No, he came and got his pop. Did he? Shots yeah. up, misses, rebound, and it's going to be Caston's ball.
Kasten gets it in. Shots up, out of bounds. It's going to be Kasten's ball. Partially blocked, I guess. Looks to get it in. Gets it out. Rotates around to the top of the key. Looks. Fakes. Gets it in. Shots up. And foul on Edmonds. That's her third. That's her third. I'll make sure I don't put that down in the foul section there you this go. time. Makes the first one. <laughs> Misses a second. Morris with the rebound. Klingler leading. Cast and scoring. Dunlap for three. Wide open, and it's a little long. Shots good. 4 3. Is that Melonkoff? Yep. Number 14. Edmonds through the middle, puts it up for two. Caston's <laughs> ball tipped out of bounds. Vanderbilt going in. For the Dragons, next chance. Tipped, and it's off of Cass. That's Dragons basketball. Great work from Edmonds. That went off of, ooh. Uh, well, you guys at home watched it. It went off of, tipped by Argus. And there's going to be a timeout called. Full timeout. We'll be back after this. Hi, I'm John Oliver with a few reasons why your next pre-owned vehicle should be from Oliver Ford Lincoln. Imagine a 172-point certification along with a 44-point safety inspection. We even get you a vehicle history report. It's for your peace of mind because we treat our customers like family. You even get free car washes for life. So get more for your money and more for your trade with certified pre-owned at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. And we're back. We are back. Here we go, getting ready, inbound. Throws it, gets it in. Van Will. They kick it out. Foul. Dunlap. Dunlap with her second first. First on the evening. Hoffman. Aubrey gets around her, loses it. And that's going to be tied up. That's going to be, should be Lady Dragons basketball. Vanderbilt gets that one. Vanderbilt get a lot of minutes this half if she can keep out of foul trouble. Dunlap, or Dunlap comes across the timeline, gets it to Morris in the corner, kicks it out, rotates it to Hoffman. Fakes. Hoffman. LaFree. Morris. Hoffman for three. Hoffman just off the mark. Oh, oh. Stolen by Dunlap. Layup and one. Steal and the bucket. Well, 
A little bit of a aggressive uh, elbow there. A little? <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> Dunlap at the line. Puts it in. Picks up a dribble. Stolen. Lead it out to Hoffman. Hoffman recovers it, gets it. Stolen by Caston. Good defensive play. Misses. Out of bounds. Dragons basketball. Well, if you got a shout out, make sure you send it to us. Send me a text, send Phil a text. We haven't got much shout outs so far this season. Morris for three, just misses. Vanderbilt battles and can't get to it. Steals it. Aubrey has it. Holds up, gives it to him, looks. Coach Dewar's liking the pressure. Here's for three. And it's short. Hoffman tips it out of bounds. Well, I know that uh, Tucker and Alyssa are watching. They're watching with uh, Tracy and Marilyn. Tracy had knee surgery. Was he still? Uh, how's he doing? Doing all right? Well, that part I haven't heard. Okay. I just heard he was going in for knee surgery last week. We well, want to give the Thayer clan a sh thank you uh, for watching and a big shout out. And I hope sure, uh, Tracy, I hope you're healing okay. Actually, text us and let us know. <laughs> yeah, let us know. Tucker, come on. Get them thumbs a moving. Say hi to Duncan for us. Not too long, and he'll be up here at the at the table. Yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> Cohagen. Cohagen saying, go Dragons. Foul. 22. Vanderwiel. Her third. Miss Cohagen saying, go Dragons. Shots up and short. Way short. Vanderwill with her third foul. That was and right in short. the same spot. Yeah. <laughs> just, gotta just relax. He'll be all right. Hey, free throws are nervous. I used to hate them. Sophomore, Maddie Smith. She'll be all right. Vanderbilt. Caddy corner. Hoffman looks. Vanderbilt. Edmonds kicks it back out. Hoffman. Vanderbilt. Dunlap. Caddy corner. Little jumper, and it's just off the mark. Rebound goes to the Lady Comets. Good play. Here's a quick three. Puts that one in. Malenkov with her Another. second three-pointer. Yep. Morris looks. Caddy Hoffman gets it over. Dunlap for two. Puts it in. And Morgan Dunlap has warmed up. Three. No good. Rebound. Loose. Hoffman. No foul. Dunlap. Jump ball. And Hoffman gets a little bit of an elbow. It's going to be Lady Comets. Morris has it, comes across the timeline. Morris misses, rebound, shot, misses. Edmonds, rebound, shot, 
and puts it in. Edmonds with another steal. Vanderwill fakes. Back to her. Morris by herself. Fakes, turns, looks. Dunlap for three. Off the mark. Rebound goes to the Lady Comets. Shot. And just missed. Foul by Vanderwill. That's her fourth. Yep. Quattro on the hackmaster Vanderwill. <laughs> <laughs> My niece. Love her. Love her to death. Bowenbacher is going to go in for. Shot missed. Well. Call me so surprised. Vanderbilt will stay on in. Misses that rebound. Foul. Morris and Dunlap came out. Foul by Smith. Smith just needs to relax. Should get them free throws in. Use them legs a little bit. She just You can tell she's nervous. Morris is checking back in. Got her a little breather. Got a little break. I'm assuming she's going to go for Vanderwill. Nice pass. Good ball movement out of the Lady Dragons. Bounce pass did real well. And Bullenbacher instantly kicked it out to Hoffman. Vanderwill fakes. LaFree gets it in to Edmonds. Edmonds. Hoffman for three. And she rushed it just a bit. Bullenbacher with a rebound. Misses. Put back. Here comes Smith for the Lady Comets. Kicks it over. Mellenkopf has it. Kind of traveled. Or kind of trapped. Not traveled. Gets out of it very well. Smith just misses. Rebound goes to Vanderwill. Edmonds fakes. Shot. And puts it in. Edmonds takes it in the lane and puts it in for two more. Just needs to be smart. And there, good. Just use your height. And there's a nice timeout. Keeping them trapped in the second half of the side of the court. So we're going to go for a quick break. Minute 30 left. Dragons up 41-18. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. All right, we're back. Got to give a big shout out to Carrie Jo, watching her daughter here from North American International Livestock Expo in Louisville, Kentucky. Kentucky's a pretty good basketball state in their own right, but they're not as good as our Lady Dragons. And nice play out of the Comets. Edmonds fakes, looks, kicks it back out. Hoffman. Bowenbacher. Goes through her hands, and it's going to be turnover. It happens. See, I give mom a shout out, and she makes a mistake. Way to go, Carrie Joe. <laughs> oh, Bowenbacher just about stole it. And another block by Edmonds. Edmonds is killing it tonight.
They get it in. Quick three. Short. Blocked. <laughs> Edmonds with her fifth block on the evening. Hoffman. Edmonds thinks about it. Gets it over to LaFree. Shots up. Misses. Foul on by LaFree. Frustration foul on that one, and that's her third. Twenty seconds left in the third. Kasten has it. Hoffman. Smith. Looks, rotates, gets it down low. Morris blocks it. Edmonds with a block and a steal all in one. <laughs> Traveled by Morris. Four seconds left in the third. <laughs> Stolen. LaFree. And that's going to do it for the third. Dragons going in at the end of the third, 41-20. We'll be back after this. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. Enjoy full screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24 seven for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. And we're back and you're watching Argus TV on RTC TV4. Starting the fourth quarter, Argus is up 41-20. Kasten's taking the ball out. Oh, listen to Philly. So smooth, silky sounds of <laughs> Phil Dean on the microphone. <laughs> Ball's loose. Scrambles and foul, Morris. Nope. Foul, Dunlap. She's so vicious. That's only her second on the night. Here we go. It's in, quick shot, no good. Rebound, Edmonds can't get to it. And Morris comes away with it. She says, I'll take that rebound, thank you. Dunlap, stolen, what a play by Smith. Can she convert? And just misses, Edmonds with another rebound. Edmund says, all right, I'll go coast to coast. I'm tough. I could dribble, too. Dunlap. Hoffman for three, and it's good. Cagney Hoffman. Stolen. Edmonds. Hoffman. Oh, it just misses. <laughs> Another steal, Edmonds. I don't know. I don't know. That was an odd play. Ball in. Dunlap for three. Off the mark. Rebound, Smith. And there's a foul on LaFree. That's her fourth. And LaFree better watch yourself. He's 
got a mess over here. <laughs> you might as well just go ahead and finish eating it. I don't need it. <laughs> Zane, I want to thank Zane Herford for sponsoring the rest of his nerds rope. <laughs> He's going to come back after the game's over with wanting to know where they're at. <laughs> Did you get him finished? <laughs> yeah. Tipped out. Smith with another great play. Hannah Herford's checked in. Got a few minutes here on varsity. Morris gives it to Edmonds, misses. Edmonds, rebound, loose. Nice tip out by Edmonds. Shots up, misses, rebound. Caston with a great rebound. And it's a steal by Dunlap. Can't get to it. Good play, hustle out of the Lady Comets. Kicks it over, oh, what an outlet pass. Fantastic by the Comets, gets it over, looks, rotates, and she travels, travels. there. Wow, what a play, number 12. Beast mode, Strasser for the Lady Comets. Fantastic outlet, great hustle to battle back to get the ball, and then makes that cross pass over. Man, fantastic hustle. Morris, little jumper, just misses. Rebound, Edmonds. Said that a few times tonight. Smith, very hustle. Good hustle out of her and gets a foul. It's her third on the evening. Play rotates, caddy corner. Morris for three, set play, just misses. Rebound goes to Dunlap. Blocked, swatted, Dunlap swatted. By Klingler. Klingler. Nice play for her. Hoffman. Morris dribbles, turns, sets it up. Back to her. Morris battles, kicks it back over. Hoffman. Van Dunlap, caddy corner. Morris, Hoffman breaks through, gets it, and then turns. Little three from Dunlap, and it's good. <laughs> Dunlap's come alive in the second half. And that's going to be a timeout for the Lady Comets. Well, we're going to be back after five minutes left in the third or fourth quarter, 47 to 20. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, yeah. business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Argus Hardware is your local do-it-best hardware store, offering everything you need for your home improvement, lawn and garden, housewares, and home. And we're back. Comet's going to be inbound, and they get it in. A little pressure, and they break through. Smith all the way, and just misses. Tipped out by the Dragons. Looks to get it in, they do. Quick shot, 
And it's in and out. Rebound goes to Edmonds. Again, Edmonds for a double-double because that looks like her 10th rebound on the evening. Tipped. Morris over and back. You dribbled it on your side and then went across the court, Morris. It's over and back. Folks are not understanding it. Out comes Herford. Out comes Morris. In goes Vanderwill and Bollenbacher. Vanderwill's got four. Fouls, that is. <laughs> Travels. Yikes. Easy people. You're getting a little excited. A little over there. rambunctious <laughs> over here in the stands. Four and a half left in the game. Dragons up. Edmonds. Bollenbacher. Quick jumper, and it's good. Sophie Bollenbacher. There you go, Carrie Joe. That two is for you. Blocked by Edmonds. Again, passed, and in and out. Rebound to Edmonds. Shots up and misses. Well, I'd like to send Edmonds put that one back in. Shots up by Smith. Just misses. Sophie battles. Smith gets her own rebound. Fantastic work. Looks, kicks it over. Foul, and that's good. Charge, oh, charge. Oh, she lowered her shoulder. At first, I didn't know why, but they said her shoulder was down. Man, Smith. I like her. Lady Comets got hustle. Hoffman fakes, gives it over to Vanderwill. Caddy corner to Dunlap. Back over to Vanderwill, quick jumper. And it's off the mark, and it's out of bounds. Over the back board. It's about the first a shot I've seen Vanderwill attempt on the evening. She'll want to forget this game. She's not going to be happy. Tipped. Smith gets it across. Blocked. Oof. <laughs> Two-point takedown, Lady <laughs> Comets. Down that goes for a ride. <coughs> Excuse me. And here comes Samantha Rose, Connie Ellis, Hannah Herford. Three minutes left, getting some varsity minutes. Out comes Hoffman. Out comes Dunlap. And Morris. So we're without a senior. We've got a sophomore junior leading the pack. And then basically the rest are sophomores. Gets the ball to Ellis. Shots blocked. Herford with the rebound. Blocked. Rebound goes to <laughs> Edmonds, and she puts it in for two. That's the reason why she's still out there. Well, you see, got. Why not? <laughs> She's on, uh, let me see, 19 points. And a steal. Oh, they got it back. And a block there. Herford. Good work. Well, since Edmund started having the night she had, I started keeping all of her stats. Rebounds, blocks. Steals, assist, and points. So she's having a uh, fantastic game. <laughs> Edmonds has it, looks, kicks it over. Tip, going to be Dragons basketball. Miller's going to, Emma Dunlap's going to go in for Edmonds. And what a game out of Edmonds. Fantastic. <clears throat> 19 points. Now there's a freshman in. Car 
Oh, what a rotation. Rose kicks it out. I want her to pull the trigger. Let her shoot the ball. Herford fakes. Dunlap over to Vanderwill. There you go. Vanderwill telling the girls, I like that leadership. Telling them move. Rose for a bunny. And it's in. Samantha Rose for two. We'll take the bank. Rose, Samantha Rose with two. I think and mom and dad was a little excited on that yeah, one over here. That's all right. <laughs> Dunlap with the steal, but it's out of bounds. And Edmonds with 19, so close to a 20 point game on his first game of the season for her fresh or sophomore year. I'll tell you. Tipped, stolen, and recovered by Caston. Shots up, just missed. What a rebound, and she's fouled, and she's going to the line, shooting two. Klingler. Jordan at the line, shooting two. Smooth as silk. Under a minute to go, and just missed. Rebound goes to Rose. Travels, and she knows it. <coughs> a little excited. Got some varsity minutes here. Sophomore. Looks. Shot. And it's just off the mark. Rebound. Smith. Rebound. Jordan puts it up for misses. Ball's loose. Ellis tries to get it. It's going to be blue off of Ellis. Good hustle. <laughs> Shots up. Misses. Turns. Shot. Fouled. And number 33, she was on the JV squad. Williamson going to be shooting two. 32 seconds left in the game. Dragons are up 53-21. And she puts it in. Nice shot. A sophomore. Misses. Emma Dunlap gets the rebound. Kicks it over, Ellis. And she's smart play, throws it off of Caston. Wow, what an awareness play out of the sophomore. 24 seconds left. Vanderbilt for the inbounds. Dunlap, drives, shot, misses. Rebound, shot, misses. And here comes the Lady Comets. Quick three, Williamson puts it in. Williamson on fire, puts a free throw in, and then puts in the three. And we got four seconds left. Vanderbilt's just going to try to cross the timeline. And that's going to do it here from Phil Waybright Gymnasium. Season opener, Dragons start the 2019-20 season with a victory. They're 1-0 on the season. Lady Comets fall over 0-1 oh on the season. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with some post-game stats. Simplify your banking with a simply free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a simply free checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. 
And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. CoAlliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact CoAlliance today. Hi, I'm John Oliver with a few reasons why your next pre-owned vehicle should be from Oliver Ford Lincoln. Imagine a 172-point certification along with a 44-point safety inspection. We even get you a vehicle history report. It's for your peace of mind because we treat our customers like family. You even get free car washes for life. So get more for your money and more for your trade with certified pre-owned at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. Argus Hardware is your local do-it-best hardware store offering everything you need for your home improvement. Lawn and garden, housewares, and home decor, Argus Hardware prides itself on a knowledgeable and friendly staff. Stop by today to stock up on all of your winter preparation needs, like shovels or ice melt. Argus Hardware is located at 200 West Walnut Street in Argus. Argus Hardware, your local do-it-best hardware store. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide variety of services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial lending and business checking to help with your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. Oliver Ford is the largest certified pre-owned dealer in Michiana. Our inventory changes daily and you are guaranteed the best customer service in our area. We treat you like family. Every certified pre-owned Ford includes factory-backed warranty coverage, complimentary vehicle history report and lots more. Don't miss out on our end-of-year discounts on all of our good-as-new inventory. Rates low as we have ever seen and the best customer service you have ever experienced. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free Checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply Free Checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. shop at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth, you're treated like family and it's a full service experience. Our expert service team can keep your vehicle happy for years from simple maintenance to major repairs. We even provide a loaner car if your vehicle needs to stay overnight. So we have an excellent source of demonstrator vehicles offered to you with substantial discounts. So search our inventory online or stop in for a test drive at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. Okay, here we are. We got the post game show. It's brought to you by the lovely patrons of Argus and the fans in the community. We got Super Phil next to me here on the computer. Everybody wave and say hi. We got to remind you that Saturday's matchup 
is a varsity matchup only. Saturday's game will be varsity only for the Lady Dragons. Okay, so here comes Coach Dewar. He's getting his headphones on. He's going to grab a seat. Hey, man. Coach Dewar Stop starting stolen. off the season with a, uh, a victory. Some good things to build on. What do you think? Yeah, it's not uh, it's not state and soccer. That's for sure, <laughs> buddy. It's, it's not but state it, and but it's, soccer, it's but a it's a start. good start. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, I liked uh, when we moved the ball around, we were patient. You know, I thought we got eaten up on the glass. That's that's disconcerting. We worked a lot in practice the last couple of weeks on rebounding. That we stand around a little bit. But a lot of that's got to do with shape, too. We're out of shape a little bit. But, yeah, I mean, we shot better from the three than we did from inside. Um, but I think I had three kids in doubles. Right? You had three so, uh, Hoffman, Dunlap, and then Edmonds was yeah. one point from 20. 19 oh, on she the had night. 19, 19 on the yeah. night. And she actually had a double double because she had, uh, nice. I had 12 rebounds for her. She was the run, yeah. the main rebounder for you guys. Uh, yeah, you know, that's, that's pretty good. Looking, good that's game. what we're looking for from her, right? Last <laughs> you year, got that right? right? So yep. she's just a sophomore, hard to believe. But I keep telling the kids, I tell them in practice too. I, when I yell, I, you know, I want to go inside. I want her to touch it. I yep. got her coming up off that, off those elbows and shortening passes up and swinging it so she can revisit her look as she's diving back into that middle again. Yeah. She just does things, right? She has some assists, and she doesn't necessarily yep. have to score it. She had two assists. Know? I kept her stats on the night because she was having a big night yeah. right at the beginning. So I just did her only for all the stats. So for Edmonds, I had uh, 19 points, 12 rebounds, six blocks, wow. four steals, and two assists. So that's not too bad for a sophomore's first night. Yeah, I said, yeah, big, <laughs> big boy, big, big girl got to eat, man. So she went and ate a little bit tonight. So, yeah, they really didn't have an answer for it. It was nice to see us move the basketball around. We've really been working on that long skip. I don't know if you've seen that yep. skip pass, and that's something that, uh, you know, uh, Coach Mawson does. You know, you get that ball the other side, make those guys chase you on the other side, and then hopefully we come back in and flash that middle. Yeah. yeah. So, well, you know, yep. the first shot of the night was a three-pointer from Hoffman, and she buries it. That's not a bad way to start yeah. the game. Give her some confidence. Yeah. She ended up with ten, and uh, you you know what? You got some bonus points, as I call them sometimes, when you get some sub players, you rotate them <laughs> in, yeah. and then you get bonus points. I mean, uh, you know, uh, you had Samantha Rose come in only yeah. at the end, but she got two, and then a nice rebound and a steal down at the other end. Uh, and Sophie Bohmbacher was four. That was a nice yeah. sub for her. Sophie got some points. She did what we what what we want wanted her to do. So I told her, I said, you know, I'd like to see her be a little more aggressive defensively, <laughs> yep. right? But hey, man, she she can shoot the ball. She's played a lot of ball up there at the Miller's place at the zone, and you know she she had a good night. And then D Rose opened up the bank in Argus yeah. late tonight. With we'll, a, we'll take with the bank. Banker. The yeah. bank is open. Yeah. Uh, Morris, uh, not uh, not the best showing. She just needs yeah, to relax, her, get her a little free confidence. Kind of struggle a little bit. Lafree, well, need, yeah, Lafree and uh, uh, Vanderbilt, they kind of got a little bit of foul trouble. We yeah, ended up with four yeah, each. Vanderbilt had to sit quite a bit because she was in foul trouble early and often, as they say. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. she didn't. I'm sure she's not going to be happy with her performance. No, but she, she she's shedding tears in there, and I told her it's not. You know, Morgan Dunlap stepped up in the locker room and said, "Listen, man, it's not about." scoring points it's overrated it's it's about us getting the w moving on we'll, we need you later i yep. didn't need you tonight and we no. didn't need her tonight no so. we didn't no yep. that's good, yep. good she's, a, she's a game changer yep so uh right. not not bad evening uh you know you've got plenty to see and yeah you know, we one got practice plenty. in between your next game yeah i got the christians coming to town yep. unfortunately their jv isn't making the trip which kind of sucks i <laughs> yeah, that's saw our JV tonight. We need a little more work. So yeah, yeah, I, yeah. it's first game for both yeah. squads. So, but uh, you know, there's stuff to build on. But yeah, you know, I've got to tell you what we want to uh, tell you. Congratulations well, on thanks. the W. That's a nice way to start off the season. Yep, we like and, them uh, better than the L's, man. So oh, we love. We the lost W's. to Bethany Christian last year, so this is a this one we'd like to get. And then uh, I went and scouted uh, Triton yesterday at the Glen game. They're gritty. They're better than they were last year. So better than last year. Yeah, Battle on the uh, Ted Hayden. Yeah, his first win. Yeah. Ted Hayden's uh, big cat. <laughs> so. Lady uh, Lady Falcons. It yeah, wasn't they, a major uh, no they margin played, of yeah. victory either. You know, I, I I told Knife, Coach Knifelong. I said they they miss shots that they make against us. You know, Triton. That's just so, how it goes. Yeah, I think if we get a lead on them. They shoot free throws well, and if we get a lead on them, you got to drag them out. So we're, we're really going to work on being able to 
bring the ball out, move it around, and, and take some time off the clock, right? A little possession killing. So. Oh. I hear you. I hear you. So, all right, You're Coach Dewar, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you go sticking over that, there. Sticking that tongue out. And I, <laughs> I looked to my right and I thought, okay, it was he wasn't sticking it out at me. Oh so, boy, you yeah. guys are killing Snaky me. Snaky lick. All, all right, right, man. Thanks for coming. Have Appreciate a good day. Yep. See yep. you later. Congratulations yeah, on thanks, the W. Man. Yep. Gonna get a cold coke right now. All righty. So that's gonna do it for the evening. We're gonna uh, shut her down. We want to thank everybody for watching tonight. Shout out to all of our viewers. Thank you for sponsoring us everybody who contributes thanks for steve and macy obviously stricker she's doing all the hard work tonight and for phil dean phil wave at the camera andy stone and peyton on the camera we're gonna say good evening good night god bless